Welcome to Night Prayer for Wednesday, September 23rd. The God of peace grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The angels of God guard us through the night and quiet the powers of darkness. The Spirit of God be our guide to lead us to peace and to glory. It is but lost labor that we haste to rise up early and so late to take our rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts even while they sleep. We have wounded your love. O God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness. Light of the world, transfigure us. We forget that we are your home. Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God in whom we live and move and have our being, all that we are, have been and shall be is known to you. In the very secret of our hearts, you know all that tries us to trouble us. Living flame, burn into us. Cleansing wind, blow through us. Fountain of water, well up within us. That we may love and praise in deed and in truth. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. Then Jesus called the twelve together and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them out to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal. He said to them, Take nothing for your journey, no staff, nor bag, nor bread, nor money, not even an extra tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave from there. Wherever they do not welcome you, as you are leaving that town, shake the dust off your feet as a testimony against them. They departed and went through the villages, bringing, good new, bringing the good news and curing diseases everywhere. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Tonight, as we look back on our day and on our week, where has God given you what you need to do the work God has called you to do? This is one of my favorite little stories. Jesus sends the disciples out. He sends them out to do the work of the kingdom of God. He tells them, you've got this. You already have everything you need to do this work. So don't worry about it. Go be. Go do. Go live. Go live the life you are called to live. And they do. They go out and they proclaim the good news and they come back rejoicing, full of joy. Because God has already given them what they needed to do that work. Their gifts, their talents, the kindness of others, the people waiting to hear that God's love extends to them. God has provided. All they had to do was go, go do, go be, go live the life Jesus called them to live. And the same is true for us. We already have what we need to do the work that we are also called to do. Called to do right where we are in all the places that we find ourselves. 
What holy life is God pulling you into, calling you, niggling at you, pushing you, pulling you toward? It might be your career. It might be an aspect of family life or friendship or faithfulness in a particular role. Mentor, friend, boss, parent, employee, advocate, guide, caregiver. God could be calling you to rest, whatever it is, and it's probably more than one of those. Where is God calling you to go? What work is God calling you to? Take a breath and remember, you've got this. God has already given you everything you need to do that work. God has already given you your gifts, your talents, passions, your joys, others along the way. Help when you need it. God has already provided it. Tonight, as we let go of the day, and in fact of the week that was, with all its good things and all its bad things, give thanks for the life God is calling you into. Give thanks for the gifts and talents and the people that we meet on the way. So that tomorrow, when we wake up and we begin again, we can again hear God telling us, quietly, loudly, pushing and pulling us lovingly to go do, go be, go live. Because we've got this. We already have everything that we need. Amen. Preserve us, O God, waking and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Preserve us, O God, waking and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of this world and in our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day with new joys and new possibilities. In your name we pray, amen. Keep watch, dear God, with those who work or watch or weep this night. 
and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted and shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. Gracious God, support us all the day long of this earthly life until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes. The busy world is hushed. The fever of life is over and our work is done. Then, O Christ, in your mercy, grant us safe lodging, a holy rest and peace at the last. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen.